Right, in this tutorial we're going to add Magic Thumb to iWeb. But before we start, it's worth knowing that you can add any of these different tools, Magic Zoom, Magic Zoom Plus, Magic Magnify, etc., onto iWeb using very similar instructions to the video that we're going to show you now. So let's have a look. This is Magic Thumb enlarging different images. You can try this out on our website. Click the image and open, open it comes. Right, let's download the zip file. We're going to save that to our, our desktop and double click it to open it. Right, that's unzipped onto our Mac. Let's go into iWeb and here we are at the opening screen. We'll make a blank page and here's our page and this is where we are, we are saving it. So I'm just going to leave that folder location, that's saving it to my desktop. We'll change this text, just type something in here. Okay, and then we'll add some more text down here. Uh, let's add just a, a short description about the product that we're going to be adding. So here's just some text. Okay. Here are my images. Now I've already saved these. These are the images of the, of the different products that I want to add. And in this folder is Magic Thumb. That's come from the, the zip file that we downloaded. So we'll take out the Magic Thumb folder from there. You can see that it's got a graphics folder and then the CSS and JavaScript files. So we've got the images folder and the Magic Thumb folder. And inside the images are two images. We're looking at the small one there, and here's the large one. They are identical images. The only difference is that one is much bigger than the other. So we'll need to use those for Magic Thumb. Right, we're going to insert it into that gap below the heading. But before we do that, we are going to just publish the site. Let's give it a name. That's the name of the folder. OK, and it's published. Right, so now let's have a look at the page. There's our page with our text on it. OK, the next thing to do is to add an image. So we'll go to our test website, the, the, the folder with all our files in it, and we'll drag in the product images and the magic thumb folder into our site. OK, there you can see them. That's the magic thumb folder, and there are the images. So now we've got our product images. We're going to just drag them into our iWeb page. Let's grab that one and just click and drag it and drop it onto our page. OK, and there it is. So that's the small image. Now we're going to link it to the very, the very large image. So we'll come down here to the corner, to the hyperlink tab, enable the hyperlink, and link it to a file. And then we're going to choose the file, back to the images folder, and there's our big one. So we've linked it to that big image, and there we have it. So the HTML is, is taking shape behind the scenes. Let's visit the page. There's the image and click it and you can see that it's enlarged just the image. So it's actually opened that JPEG. So the next thing we need to do is edit the page in text edit. So we'll just find text edit. It's a standard Mac program. Before we can edit the page though we need to change some preferences, otherwise text edit will open it in HTML view. So turn the format into plain text and go to open and save and ignore rich text. That should be ticked as well. Right, so now we've saved the preferences, we can open our blank.html file within our page. So there's our page. Let's open it into text edit and first of all we're going to insert the CSS and JavaScript link. So let's go back to the Magic Thumb page, go to the integration page and you can see the exact HTML that you need for your page. You can copy it from there. Go back to text edit 
and just before the head tag we are going to paste in those two lines of code from the Magic Toolbox website and now we're going to scroll down the page and find the yep there it is that is the image that we've inserted and the link so in here we're going to type class and add a class of magic thumb and that will tell the browser to insert the magic thumb effect onto that image right back into Firefox let's go and test it so we've saved the page refresh it and there it is working so clicking the image and it's opening up and closing with magic thumb okay let's now do something a bit different with it let's add some some customization we'll put some background behind the image let's copy this code from again from the magic toolbox website it's going to add a background color so we'll go back into the page into text edit and we're going to add a rel tag with a background opacity of 70 okay that's done let's save that back into Firefox and let's refresh the page again and now we can see when we open it it's changing the color of the background so that's it we've installed Magic Thumb and I hope you enjoy the tutorial